What's up guys, Doggy here, and in today's video I want to show you guys something on this Hunter build. Now some of you may know the build, some of you may not. If you don't know, I am glad to educate you. But this season, this weapon right here, Mount Fisa, got a really, really cool catalyst finally. And it gives it 20 more range, I believe, so it'll go from 45 to 65, and it gives it Warple. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is like really huge on the gun, because the perk is whenever you land 5 shots, you create this explosion. And it does massive damage, and it causes it unstoppable. Now, there's several other ornaments you can have on this gun, but for today, we're going to run the Taken one. But this weapon was really good with this build I'm about to show you, but now that it has Warple, it is really, really good. Like, I'm going to show you. I'm using it with Lucky Pant. Now, the way this works is basically, um, I have a Kinetic Weapon Surge on it, so whenever I have an Orb or Armor stack, I get bonus to my Kinetic Damage. And you can stack this, so I got three of them on. And the way Lucky Pants work is whenever you switch to your hand cannon, you get bonus target acquisition, blah, 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 all that. But you, the, the thing that makes this weapon shine is the damage. It gives Malfeasance a lot of damage. Now, I paired it with Solar with my throwing knife because it gives me Radiant, which you can stack on top of Lucky Pants with Malfeasance and you know. Armor Charges. And Sorry about that. You probably heard my mother come in. <laughs> She's walking my sister to work. But I'm also going to show you guys the difference between this weapon damage and rocket launcher damage. Now, I use explosive light and I also use my Charles rocket. Now, this weapon has explosive light and it's really good for raids. Everyone knows this. That's why everybody uses it. So, I'm going to show you the difference. Now, my build, I have it set up to where... I can't really see it. I'm trying to do a voiceover. But basically, what you want to do is whatever secondary weapon you have, like it could be void, it could be solar, or whatever. You want to have one of these mods on, so that way you generate an orb and you get multiple kills. And that usually only requires two or three ad kills, just regular ad. Uh, I, I recommend also running, um, what's this thing called? Shield Break Charge. So basically when you break a combatant shield, that also gives you a stack of armor charge, which could also come in handy. In case you're fighting an, uh, an overload or something. I don't, some of these mods are weird. And then we have Charged Up. So it increases your stack. Now, I put on two of these because I forgot to, but I have two on now. So basically, the more stacks of armor you have, the better. That way, it just keeps up the higher damage easier. And it's not as sweaty. I already showed you my leg armor. This is me showing you what it looks like. This is the most weirdest voice over I've ever done. <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about the little stream thing. I forgot to take those off from my stream, but I accidentally left them on. I apologize about that. Um, now your cloak, I didn't really change up my cloak. I should have because there would have been some really cool mods here like Empowered Penny. So killing an ad will give you an armor stack if there's only one ad left and you can't make an orb. Or you also have uh, this one powerful attraction. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. So when you activate your class ability, like there's several ways you can change it up. <laughs> it's so I'm like looking at my screen recording from a little tiny perspective. It's so annoying. But anyway guys, my name is Doggy. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, it was really short and quick, but I'm going to show you the difference between the Malfeasance and you'll see a couple clips while I use a rocket launcher and you'll see the difference. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. Take care.